hi everyone, it's me. You're looking at me and thinking, wow, she has glasses on. She wears glasses? Yeah, I'm blind as a bat without my glasses or contacts. I rarely, rarely wear my glasses um, just because I don't like the way they look on me. And if you saw them in person, you'd see how darn thick they are. People make fun of me, so I don't wear them. But I am today because um, I've got a bad sinus infection and my head hurts and you know, I just kind of basically just didn't feel like putting the effort into it, but I did feel like video blogging. Um, I guess this really isn't much about fitness other than more it, it is about changing. Um, I know some of you have already read some of my, my blogs and uh, my notes on Facebook, um, you know, about what happened to me last year, and I, I'm going to touch upon it again, just kind of the highlights because I only got 10 minutes. Um, you know, as some of you read on my blog, on MySpace and on uh, Facebook, that uh, last year was a really, really horrible year for my family and um, for me. Uh, it kind of all started when we, uh, my husband and I had fertility issues and we decided we were going to try to do in vitro fertilization and it didn't work, so it was very heartbreaking to go through all the shots in the rear end and I had to give myself shots because my husband was out of town and it was just, you know, and we had real high hopes and so it was very disappointing um, when we found out that it didn't take. Um, exactly one week after we found out it didn't take, um, my boss passed away from a massive heart attack um, and that was heartbreaking and you can go into my blog and read about that. It, I don't know, I had mixed emotions over the whole issue, and uh, which kind of leads on to, you know, other things, but anyway, I think it was like in about March, I want to say, my brother found out he had, uh, he was having some trouble, he'd been having trouble a long time, and um, found out he needed to have surgery, they discovered um, a mass in his colon, and that they needed to go in and take it out, um, they found out, uh, few days probably after the colonoscopy that, you know, it was cancer, but they told him, you know, it was just the size of a pea, no big deal, you know, they'd take it out, um, probably be okay. Well, come to find out, and you'll have to read my blog for the, for the uh, big details and stuff, but it was stage three cancer, um, it uh, spread into his lymph nodes. Sorry, it's hard to talk about. Um, it's easier to write about than talking. Um, it spread into his lymph nodes. Um, and uh, those horrible, horrible doctors, they did terrible things, and um, anyway, uh, there was a point where they just had told my parents that he probably had like a 30% chance of making it, and they were only giving him three to know, four to five years, and uh, I'll just never forget the day my brother called me, my oldest brother called me to tell me what had happened, what the doctors were saying, and I just remember standing there with my mouth open and then my legs just went out from underneath, underneath me just like jelly, and I was kind of sitting on these little steps that we have. I was just sitting there, I mean, I just like, was, I just kept saying, no, 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 no. And uh, you gotta imagine my brother that had colon cancer, he was just a year older than me, um, so I, it was, anyway, so he went, had the surgery and everything, and, uh, it was, uh, I, I want to say about a month, I don't even remember dates because it was just, it's all such a blur, um, my brother Rick called me on my cell phone when I was at work, and he says, Wendy, I have cancer, and this is my other brother, my oldest, and I remember just standing there, I was kind of in a coat room. I was just stunned, and I just, I just, I couldn't say anything. I was completely speechless. What, what, what can you say? And all he was worried about was Dennis. He says, "You don't worry about me. It's, it's already. They already took it out. It was not a big deal." Um, he said. We've got to worry about Dennis. We've got to worry about Dennis. You know, Dennis is the one who needs us right now. And uh, I just went over to my boss's desk and I sat down and I just started to cry. And I'm like, why? And 
um, so yeah, I, both my brothers got cancer last year, and um, Rick, the oldest, he had the throat cancer, um, was stage one. Uh, they got it all out, um, and he just had to have some radiation treatments. Um, Dennis, on the other hand, he had to have um, chemo and radiation. Um, then within between there, my dad got hurt when they came back to visit. My dad had to have surgery last summer, and my husband's nephews, both of them got in a motocross accident. One, one, you know, not so bad. The other one was in critical condition in ICU for a week and had to have part of his or half of his pancreas removed and I, I mean it was just one thing after another and um, but I want to talk about my brothers because they're very important to me and I love them and you know they're okay first of all they, they're both cancer free it's been a year and they're still both cancer free so that's awesome um, but you know, my brother Dennis went through hell. Um, it was horrible for him uh, with the chemo and stuff, and, um, and of course the radiation. And um, he just—you'd have to know my brother. He's just—he's really tall. He's like—I don't know what is he, six three or something like that. He's a big guy. He's not fat. He's just a big guy, and he just. But he's a big teddy bear. I mean, he'll growl at you, but once you get to know him, you know he's harmless. Um, you know, he's just he's just such a good person, and, and it was just kind of like, why? You know, why did it happen? Why does it happen to, the, to good people? Oh yeah, I never even mentioned about the fact I totally forgot this that my our pastor who married us, who my husband was very close to, we found out he had cancer within all of this too. Believe it or not, but he's he's good too. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, it was a really, really rough year, and, um, you know, Dennis, he's, like I said, he's just, he's such a good person, and, uh, this is the kind of person he is. He, uh, he witnessed an accident, he's a truck driver, he witnessed an accident, and, um, he stopped, and it was a rollover, and, uh, apparently, from what I understand, uh, the guy got through, thrown from the car, um, and he, I guess he was okay, but the wife was still in the car, and it was upside down, and my brother was the one who stopped, and um, uh, coordinated people rolling the car back over, and basically saved this family's life. That's the kind of person he is, and that is what makes it so sad, and so, I don't know, like I said, I wrote the whole story out um, on my MySpace page, and, uh, you know, as they were going through this, and it just, I kept telling myself, this is why you have to stay healthy, this is why you have to do this, this is why you have to work out and eat right, and there's no guarantee, now I'm at real high risk of getting cancer, but I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that doesn't happen, and um, it, life was hard, I had a breakdown, took a bunch of time off of work, and that was about a year. I went back to work on October 7th of last year um, from my leave of absence. So it's been um, just about a year now, almost to the day. And life is really good. You know, my brothers are both well, they're doing well. My life is good. I have nothing to be complaining about. Um, I have everything to be grateful for. Everything to be grateful for. And I'm healthy. Well, I had gallbladder surgery <laughs> this year in uh, in March, but you know that's minor. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about that. Um, I just have so much to be grateful for, and I'm so happy that my brothers are both doing good. And I pray to God that nobody else I know has to go through this. So anyway, um, I talk about it anymore. <laughs> this is it. Um, Unless something horrible happens, this is it as far as talking about that situation last year. But I just felt like I needed to reflect on it. Anyway, time's running out. I gotta go. Um, love y'all. Uh, read my blog on MySpace or Facebook and uh, get the whole details. Bye.